Hi guys, this is Natasha, aka Natty Willie, and welcome to another episode of TV Talk with Natasha and Kim. Say hi, Kim. Hi, everybody. Hi. And we are going to be talking about the last few episodes of the following, which were humdingers. They were action packed, and a lot of stuff happened. A lot of people showed their true colors, and Emma is back with Joe, and Mandy is a hot mess. That so, was a great word, humdinger. Like it was it. it was humdinger. It was a humdinger type episodes. Can we hashtag that? I think we should. <laughs> it's awesome. Um, it really was. Um, but the, you know what? And, and this is what you learn to expand. And this is why I like the following so much mm -hmm. because they keep you guessing. It's like you don't know what's going on. You think you know, but you don't. You don't know. Bam. So, like, this last, uh, the last two episodes, let's go back to two episodes ago, um, I, you find Joe had just uh, murdered the Reverend, and I call her Arlene, because she will always be Arlene, is tied up. Um, Joe's trying to figure out what to do with her, thinks they should kill her, um, because she knows the secret, and she's pleading with her daughter, uh, Mandy, Man Mandy. Um, to grab the knife and kill Joe, and Mandy takes the knife and turns around and stabs Arlene in the yeah. stomach. And then they burn the house down. They sure do. And all I wrote on my notes was, oh, Mandy. Oh, Mandy. There's a song about that. Okay, I'm moving forward. All right. <laughs> um, and so, you know, and it, you know what I really like? It's the co and, we, and we didn't touch on this. Um, the code, like the how they communicate with each other. Uh, uh yeah. By the newspapers, that's pretty cool. Like, well, the postings online, mm -hmm. um, that's really cool. And so, you know, he, when Joe takes off, he's trying to figure out whether it's safe for him to come out of hiding mm -hmm. because somebody has sent him a message. So right. he ends up going to one of his followers' houses. Um, but we'll get to that because that's moving on to the the next the previous episode. But um, we'll, the other thing that we found out in this episode is. Uh, People aren't who you think they are, and Ryan, once again, fell for the wrong girl. He, he fell for the okie doke. Why did he have to open up to her about Claire's death? Like, seriously, Ryan? That should have been a clue right there that you're going to get your heart broken. Like, as soon as you, like, as soon as you even thought about opening up, that you should have shut it. You should have shut it. It's just like I feel so bad for him, and it, but kudos to him for figuring it out because the FBI sure as heck didn't, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they need to just offer him a job. Just, just be like Ryan. Come on, just. But he refuses to work with them. He's I know. he tries to work on his own. And poor Mike, can they get their bromance back? Please, like I am seriously getting frustrated with Ryan because he is not letting Mike in. He is letting his niece in, but he's not letting Mike in. And now he's gonna have to, especially after this last episode. I know, like I, I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like when they fight. But um, yeah. Needless to say, Lily Gray is not who she says. Well, she is who she says she is because her past checks out, but she's actually a follower um, and the adopted mother of the crazy twins. Um, yeah. So that, I'm sorry. That that family is not the Adams family. She's like the Angelina Jolie of psychos. She is, and yeah, for their family and all of her. <laughs> she, what she is is she's She's positioning herself to be the mother, and she wants and she wants um, Joe to be the father. Get it. And, get it. Uh, um, you know, she might get her head cut off by Emma because Emma's <laughs> not gonna Emma's have not having it. Yeah, for real. Um, no, in fact, Emma better watch her back because not only is Lily on the prowl, but Mandy is on the prowl. Like, she wanted to kill poor Jane Murphy, even though she just helped Joe out. Like, she's like, oh, well, she just used her use for us. Let's kill her. I'm I know. Go. And Joe's, like, instructing her, like, it's like... There's a uh, difference, boo. There's a difference. No, this is what you're supposed to do. Bad, bad. I'm like, <laughs> what? Oh, my God. That girl's this crazy. Teaching moment. Oh, yeah, this teaching moment brought to you by Joe. Uh, Seriously, the more you know. Um, <laughs> I don't even. It's so weird. Um, but yeah, Mandy is like, 
she got a taste of killing and she just wants to keep going. I don't know what's up with her. We'll find out more about that. She's going to be inducted into this family. Oh, uh, Lord. And who's going to be a role model? None of them. I don't know. Um, <laughs> it's really crazy. Yeah, and Mark, he reminds me a little bit of Jacob from season one, and I'm just afraid for him. He He's going to get his heart broken. Like, he needs to set himself up now because Emma is all about Joe. Like, she... If he, if she feels like he's threatening what they have, she's gonna kill him. And Luke doesn't need to have that happen because that's his twin. So there's gonna be some family ish that's gonna be happening in the next few episodes. Because in the preview, Emma was even saying that they're crazy. Emma cannot be talking about people being crazy. If she's telling you that you're crazy, you're crazy. I'm just, I'm just saying. Well, and I also think it's a little bit of jealousy, but we'll see coming up in the in the prior episodes. I mean, that last shot of the last episode, which we'll move into talking to like right now, but when uh, Lily Gray standing there in the dress to greet Joe, Emma's like, like I said, if looks could kill, <laughs> Lily would have dropped dead right there because Emma would have had her by the throat. Like I just. Yeah, but, well, yeah, um, Lily already has Emma's number already. Like, she can't trust her. And she's like, well, did you hear her when she was talking to Joe on the phone? Like, come back to me, Joe. And even Emma was mad at Joe for a few minutes because he did not tell her that he set that up so he could still be alive. So I, don't, I actually don't blame Emma for that because... If I was her, I'd be ticked too. I was your second-hand person, and you don't even tell me that that was all a setup? I'm sorry. Yeah, and she loved him, you know, and he made her think that he was dead. So that 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 was uncalled for, but Joe's uncalled for. I mean, everything in this show is uncalled for, so it's just like, um, yeah, it was it was, it was was very interesting, her reaction, and I, I'm surprised that Mandy didn't try to pull a knife on her right then and there. <gasps> I was surprised too, to be honest. I really thought that she was gonna say something like, "What? Wait, what? Why are you hitting Joe? Do do I need to do I need to do something, Joe?" <laughs> and then Joe would have been like, "Um, no, no, sweetie, let, let's calm down. Let's this, put a this, muzzle this, on this you. Is this, 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 this is Emma. This is Emma. She's she's uh, she's okay." <laughs> yeah. So like the second episode, uh, the one that just aired on Monday. Um, I you know what? I have a fear. I have a fear for his niece's safety. Uh, yes, I do too. Because Giselle don't play that. I just, I feel like something bad is going to happen just because, I mean, she's close to Ryan, and really what happens to people that are close to Ryan, and I'm like, oh, no, like, don't get your, like, little niece hurt. I mean, that's... I'm like, she already got her butt hit by Giselle once already. I'm like, you getting on the train, like, you need to stay far away from them until Ryan comes, at least. Can, can you do that? Like, can you do that? That'll, be, that'll make me so happy. <laughs> I just, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm like, and she's so impulsive. I'm like, why would you go after her? He's telling you not to go after her, and you think you can take her. Like, you just don't. I don't know. I'm like, come on, niece. And not only that, her she gets her butt kicked in front of all these witnesses who are taking pictures and are probably taking video as well. What's wrong with you people out there? Oh, oh. my gosh. You see an and officer trying to arrest somebody. You need to, like, well, no, I shouldn't say that because officers would be like, don't you interfere. But yeah, like, she already tried to, like, not be distracted, and she got distracted enough for Giselle to get away. And not only that, I'm very upset with Giselle because considering how many people or how many women in particular get attacked, like, for real, for real, and then no one really steps in, for her to do that, and then the men actually are trying to be helpful, not knowing that this is an officer, well, he's not technically an officer, but he's still, like, after a suspect, like, that... Uh, uh, no, no, Giselle. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was like, oh man, Ryan. See, that's why you need to work with the FBI, man. Yeah, exactly. You can't go around pulling guns on people in like broad daylight and not have a badge. Like, you can't do that. Well, not only that, I'm surprised that no one really suspected what she was saying because there were people that saw her hit Ryan first. So, I mean, wouldn't that be a little suspect? I'm just saying. Not everyone is gonna put pull a gun. Okay, never mind. I'm not. I'm not gonna go there. But normally, 
People do not put pull guns out at one suspect or one person unless it was a police officer. And not everyone is going to be in an obvious outfit that says FBI or policeman. Like, there are a lot of undercover people. So, I mean, I don't know. It, it's a little bit, I don't know. Yeah, I know. And then, of course, then the niece got on the train. I'm like, this woman is a glutton for punishment. Although, I'm surprised Ryan didn't think of that. True that. True that. Um, Mark so, off from Ryan. Mark off from Ryan there, man. Right. So, um, so the other big thing that we found out in this episode, uh, who the uh, head of the FBI like team that's going mm -hmm. after Ryan, which is her last name, Torres? What's her last name, Torres? Uh, Velez? Velez? Wait, no. But is it Vendez? Vendez? Mendez. Oh, okay. It's Mendez. It Gina? is Mendez. It Gina, is Mendez. Right? Agent Gina. Gina. Yeah, her first name's Gina. Okay, so we find out who Gina's... I don't even know what they are because she's like, can you pick up the kids? So I guess they're together now. Who, whose kids are those? I don't... They, I, think they were, I think they were together. They split up, and now they have joint custody. And oh, okay. apparently Jane, Jane Murphy was part of the FBI, but she quit to raise, help raise the kids. And so that's why she had a lot of access to what Joe was trying to find out, because Joe is still trying to look for his son. See, let that be a lesson to all you people out there, and I guess I'm going to include men and women in this when you – when you force your significant other to stay home to raise kids and have them quit their job, they can turn on you like that and end up helping serial killers like Joe. <laughs> she probably knew Joe from when she first got together with uh, Mendez. So I'm not even... You just never know these days. I mean, after watching the following, it's kind of like, can you really trust anybody? Do I trust you, Kim? No, I'm joking. <laughs> I cry. I cry in Homeward Bound, the movie, when Shadow comes over the mountain. And I couldn't. I couldn't hurt anybody. I'm just like, oh, Shadow. yeah. That, I, I, I would. I would still cry at that movie. I'm. I'm for real. Um. So yeah, it's it's crazy. Like I'm like, why did they? They just drop that bomb right before like the end of the show. I'm like, boom. I'm like, wow. Yeah, they like to drop the mic a lot. They do, and then you're like, what? Oh my gosh, I can't believe that just happened. <laughs> I love yeah. the show. Yeah, I love the show. But I'm I'm really hoping that Mike and Ryan get their mojo back because I need I need them to work together. I need them to work together. I'm sorry. They they just need to do it. They need to do it now. Oh, I was thinking there were some sparks at least a little bit between Mike and the niece. I don't know. Maybe that was just me. Well, I mean that could definitely be a a love interest. If she stays right? alive long enough, I mean, she was dating somebody, but I don't know how serious that is. Serious that is. Yeah, we saw that like right in the beginning, right? And then I was like, yeah. that guy's got to be a plant or something like that. So you just never know. We don't know what's going to happen on the phone. We don't know. But that's what makes it um, interesting, and that's what yeah. we love about it. Yeah, okay. I mean, when you have a teenage girl like that just totally be all up in Joe's business and actually kills for him, that man's got charisma. Right. Guys, so we are going to get out of here. Um, you're going to see another TV talk with Natasha and Kimberly um, going over Arrow, and you're going to see another one with Helix, um, a little reviews on the, on the last couple episodes of each, um, of each series, although we're going to do a little more in-depth one for Arrow because we've got a lot of friends that like Arrow. So that is coming soon for us. Uh, but for now, uh, you can find us on Twitter. Uh, Natasha, where can they find you? at Willcat12, or you can also follow us at The Nerd Element, of course. I, I usually live-tweet a lot of the TV shows that we watch. She does. Uh, she tweets more than I do, and I'm at Anime23, uh, once again, at The Nerd Element, and we are going to get going because Natasha is going to go live-tweet a show right now. So <laughs> <He> likes hello. <laughs> yep, and we will be talking about that soon, um, so look for that. Uh, all right, guys, we will see you next time. See ya. Bye. Bye.